Hello and welcome back to the Sims 4 Die Night Rags to Riches Challenge. Uh, ladies and gentlemen, today... Well, today we are here at Ellie's Bistro where things are going interestingly. We currently have 2,349 simoleons sitting in the meal profits. Obviously, that's not going to be the complete profits for the day because we do need to pay our staff. But we also have a bit of a problem. Uh, that problem being that I need to pretty much immediately transfer some funds to the household of about 2,000 simoleons. Uh, so, like so. And I need to do that because we need to pay some bills of 1,076 simoleons. So if we can get that paid, we are not going to have our electricity shut off. Which, I don't know about you, but I'd kind of like that to not happen. So... Yes, if Peyton could uh, maybe go out and pay that. There we go. So that's that out of the way. No longer needed, needing to uh, worry about electricity. But we do need to worry about paying our staff. Which is maybe not going to happen. As you can see, we have been open for quite a while. 14 hours. We're sitting on 892. I don't think that's going to be enough to pay my staff. So we're probably going to go into the negative. So what I'll do is I'm going to transfer about... I'll say 750 back into the business. That was uh, the wrong way. That was that was the wrong way. Let's go 1,000. Uh, let's say 1,300 into the business. That might be enough to pay our staff, but I am slight. What the hell? Oh, it's that was really weird there. Okay, so you are now at four stars. You, sir, can we talk to you? Because you don't seem to be all that happy with the restaurant. Let's see if we can get you up to four stars as well. You could probably do with the same treatment. Norma's getting a bit tired. Bobby's a bit tired. Et is a bit tired. Okay, let's uh, let's close the restaurant. How are we looking? We got 1,239 in profits. Not bad, but the business is somehow in the negative, really? How did that happen? That's very strange. How did that happen? I'm not actually sure what happened there. Okay, well, that's a bit peculiar. At least we got the bill out of the way, and we're in a situation where we have a phone call for Ali. Eric Lewis, it's Aliens Night at the Bar. No. No, I'm good. Let's uh, tend to the garden and then harvest all. Because we do have a few crops lying about there that we could absolutely get our hands on and make some money from. So Ali is currently energized. Peyton is a bit playful, which is fine. Do we need to clean up the restaurant at all? It doesn't look like it, but there is something I'd like to do. I want to come in here. I'm going to change the time to afternoon. And I'm actually going to give the, re the restaurant a little bit of a renovation because this floor down here is barely getting used. So what I'd like to do is I'm going to move these tables here to the outside. They're not going to be staying there, obviously, but I'm going to move them. And this is kind of annoying because I really like the style here. But uh, unfortunately, there's not a lot I can do about that. So let's transfer uh, 263 to the business. And I'd like to bulldoze uh, these bits here. Which is unfortunate, but it needs to happen. We're going to bulldoze that. I'm actually going to keep those bits at the end. That's fine. I'd like to go upstairs and then move these tables here. So these are going to go into uh, those spots, basically. Uh, so bring that down to there. I mean, these could probably be put in a slightly better way. So like that and like that. Then if we go up, we can go and grab you and put that there. Go up and grab you and put that there. And my thinking is that, I mean... Hopefully, that would uh, result in this area actually getting used a bit more. Now, we want to put uh, bb.moveobjects. We want to get that on. So we can put this table against the window. Like, not like that, uh, but like that. Then if we go up and grab this one as well and pop downstairs, we can throw that one into that spot and head up again, grab you, and throw that one into that spot. Now, that does slightly change the way this space is laid out, which is fine by me. Can I move you over? Yeah, I can move you over by half. That's actually all right by me. So I'll do that. I'm also going to just extend this like so. 
and actually uh, go ahead and do that, do that, and then duplicate that guy. So there we go. That's a little bit expensive, but that's okay. Let's extend you, not you. Let's uh, grab this bit of wall and extend it to there. Then grab this little thing, move it to that spot, and bulldoze that bit of wall. So that's not nice and open. We can move these sofas along a little bit. And this plant here can go... Uh... There? No. We'll move this plant to, um... Somewhere else. I reckon there seems fine. So that opens this restaurant in a slightly different way to what it was previously. Which I quite like. We'll put the, uh, the wait... The host station just there. And, uh, I do like that, actually. So hopefully these tables will get used. My thinking is that most people do use those tables here, the ones that we just moved downstairs. So if I put these ones upstairs, they might get used more now that they're in a less awkward space. That's definitely a possibility. But I'm hoping that we are just going to see people getting served quicker. Because that's why I'm moving all of these. Because in theory, we're going to see people getting their food a bit quicker. Uh, so that's kind of the dream anyway. Let's also get rid of those things. I'd like to go ahead and grab a few of these and put them right in the middle of these tables. Because they are indeed quite nice. So a bit like that, a bit like that. Uh, delete you, delete you. That'll save me a bit of money. Actually gives me a fair bit of money indeed. Uh, then move these tables to the end there. And I'll move these ones as well, I think. Just to sort of match the positioning. And it does leave the roof space a little bit more bare, but we really need to save some money in the restaurant. So that'll hopefully help. We should hopefully see a bunch more people down this way. That is the dream. That is the goal. That is the plan. Whether it works, we... aren't really gonna know for a little bit. But I am certainly gonna... gonna hope for the best. So, with that all done, now let's go ahead and go back into live mode. Let's uh, auto lights that light. Uh, let's actually auto lights that room. And uh, we'll do the same. Actually, those can just always be on. That's fine. So, what have we got going on then? Peyton is on the phone. Allie is uh, still tending to the garden as opposed to harvesting any crops. But that's fine. She's actually energized. So, she's having a pretty good time. And I think Peyton's coming out for a chat, which is fine by me. Actually, Ali, you could maybe forget about that. Let's not worry about uh, tending to the garden. Let's maybe focus on, you know, just harvesting so we can get that sweet, sweet dollar. Or that sweet, sweet simoleon. I'm not really sure why Ali's wearing her uh, formal wear there, but uh, for some reason she came back. Oh, that's a that's a risky angle there. For some reason, she came back from work in her formal wear and at the moment is heading off to bed, even though she's going to need to get up at some point to go to the bathroom, but that's fine. As for Peyton, I do believe Peyton is downstairs at the moment doing a little bit of cooking, which is fine by me, also wearing formal wear. I guess that's because the outfit of choice at the restaurant is formal wear, so that's uh, not really a surprise for anyone. Some plants out here do need harvested. I think what I'll do is have Ali... Hire a professional gardener. In fact, you know what, Peyton, you're awake. You could probably do it once you're done eating, which you very, very nearly are. So hire a professional gardener, if you wouldn't mind. There you go. So we can get that done. The gardener's going to be here at 9.05 a.m., which isn't all that far from now, but that's okay. As for you, Peyton, what do you need? You need a bit of sleep. So I think what we'll do is send you off to sleep because you're in a pretty good mood. Ali, not so much. Ali really needs the bathroom, in fact. So, Ali, let's have you wake up and go and use the bathroom. Because you do desperately need it, let's be honest. So, have yourself a bit of a pee. And uh, fun is something you need as well. Energy, too. So, I think maybe go and watch some comedy? It's a bit late and you do need to sit there. I mean, Peyton's been woken up by the noise. But uh, you really do need to have some fun. Which you certainly seem to be having, so that's nice. You're not feeling a bit playful, which is fine by me. I think that'll be enough TV for now. Uh, let's have you go and nap for a little bit. So you can get a little bit more energy up. As for you, Peyton, you are getting your hygiene up. I think I'd actually quite like 
Ali to go and grab a serving of that. You could probably stop napping, get some food. And then I guess we need to go to work. We gotta make some money. Oh, let's do it. They are adorable. They really are adorable. Seriously, seriously adorable. Uh, so what's going on here? We are apparently not watching Peyton sleep, that's for sure. Let's just watch some TV. Which hopefully we can, uh, yeah, there we go. Okay, uh, I think Peyton just changed the channel, but sure. Uh, I think at this point we are probably good to send Allie to the bistro. We'll bring Peyton over in just a little bit. I think I want to focus today's episode a little bit on just making sure Allie's okay, because she's really not been having the greatest of time lately. She... I feel like she she has she has just had a rough couple of weeks. So I'd kind of like to make it a bit better. So let's open the restaurant and see if uh, more people are given tables around here. That is the dream. Ah, uh, there we go. So he showed up, which is perfect. Allie's having a bit of a nap, which is fine by me. Uh, so hopefully you will get shown to a table almost immediately. That's the goal. Oh, no, it looks like you are. Yeah, so you're being shown to your table. Good. So that's what I want to see. People get into their table much, much quicker than they were previously. Good. We should totally see a much quicker service here. And I'm okay with that. I am quite okay with that. Okay, Ali, you are actually quite happy. So let's go and check on table and welcome and we will welcome and check on the tip. I love that these two are wearing matching hats. That's, that's great. So this is Ania, Robinson, and Rebecca Riley. I love the matching hats. That's a great choice, ladies. That is a good choice. Who's this? Jordan Moses. All right, let's uh, welcome you. And make sure everything is okay. Making a bit of money immediately there. Not bad at all. Definitely, there's a lot of people here that are being seen to immediately, and I'm quite okay with that. Did you just drop that? For, oh, for God's sake. Right, you need training. You, you are gonna need some training, mate. You need some brief training. Uh, so can we get this cleaned up? Let's get Bobby some training, please. For God's sake, the dude drops everything. Well, he doesn't drop everything, but he drops almost everything these days. There we go. We'll get him some training. Which will hopefully make him a bit better at what he does. So Ali's off to clean that, which is good. Uh, did someone get seated upstairs? They did. Okay, interesting. Uh, let's go and check on your table. You've got a, you've actually got a beautiful view there. Can you imagine just just getting dinner? I mean, you, there's the dinosaur, sure. But just that view. Eating your dinner with that view. That'd be absolutely wonderful. Just seeing everything out there. The yawning alley, of course. The famous, famous yawning alley. Uh, let's bring Peyton to the restaurant. Because Peyton actually seems to be in a bit of a mood at the moment. Uh, you are in desperate need of... Uh, we're going to assume a dump. I'll be honest. Let's, uh, let's have you go and do that. Alley is uh, having a bit of a snooze upstairs. I'm actually really tempted to get like a little staff room going here. Because that would let Ali sort of have a good sleep. Uh, which I kind of like the idea of doing. We could build just a little staff room here at the front of the building. Or sort of onto the, like the side of the kitchen. That's an option too. Which wouldn't be the worst option in the world either. Or the back of the, wait, where's the bin? Where the hell did the bin go? I could, I could swear, I could swear we had a bin here, but apparently not. That's odd, okay. Well, I guess we could do a little staff room back here. So if we bulldoze just all of this, because apparently we don't need it anymore, we'll keep that window. But if we go to here, we'll go to walls and do just this kind of thing. So that and that. We have a little room. We can do that kind of thing. I'll actually just go with the, uh, go with the brick, I think, and go with the wood there. Uh, I'll grab myself a, actually, maybe that should be wood as well. We'll do wood on that whole section. 
So it is going to be a tiny, tiny little room. But I think that's all right. Uh, I don't think I'll go with... Uh, I think I'll go with this in here. Then the floor can be wood. As for windows, I guess it could use a window. So we'll do that, which seems fine by me. Let's go to furniture. Let's go to bedrooms. Let's go to beds. And we'll just get a sort of cheap little single bed here in... I'll go for the blue one. I think it looks quite nice. We'll just throw it in there. I'd actually kind of like that to be a little bit closer to the wall. So a bit more like that. And then the light in here is going to be... I kind of want a standing lamp in the corner. I suppose that one works. I am quite keen on this one, though. A bit more expensive is the problem. 145 versus 75. Kind of hard to pass up the 75 one, even though it is a bit dull. But it is supposed to be a bit of a, I guess, a quiet room. So I'll throw that there. And we're going to need some blinds as well. So let's get some uh, window covering. We could go for this. Wouldn't look terrible, but I kind of want something a bit nicer looking. That one is a bit small. That one is... I guess that one kind of works. We'll go for that. It's quite nice. Get it in a nice blue as well. And uh, I do think we're going to want some kind of light for the ceiling in here. But I kind of want to go for... Where is it? That one I kind of want, but I need to be a detective to get it. So that's not really an option. We could go for this, which actually lights the room up really, really well, surprisingly. Uh, we obviously have this one as well. We have this one. We have this one. I think I'm going to go for... I think I'm just going to go for this, to be honest. Because it works super well. It's not going to be the most pleasant room to be in, but it's not really supposed to be. I think the last thing I'd like in there is just a little plant in the corner. So it's not completely miserable, but it's also not going to come across as uh, a beautiful room to be in. Because it's definitely not that. Uh, so I'll just throw that. Now that's a bit small. Uh, that's a little bit big. A bit small. A bit small. Have we got anything that I can just throw in the corner that's not going to be tiny? I mean, that's way too big. I guess that kind of works. Sure. Bit of greenery in the corner. Never hurt anybody. Uh, so throw that there. Be a rug as well. I'm really going overboard with this, aren't I? It was supposed to be a tiny little room, but... I, just, I think a rug could be nice. We'll do a yellow one. Just like that. There we go. So that's going to be a room for... A lot of access to household. Actually, locked door for everyone but household members. So, Ali, you can actually go and sleep in there. Which I think will be nice. So, there you go. Ali can have a sleep. And uh, that's probably... I mean, if you were working in the restaurant, you'd probably be really annoyed. But that's fine. I mean, I didn't say that workers were going give, to be given a place to sleep. That was, uh, that was never a part of their contract. So, they can just deal with it. As for Peyton, what are you up to? You are cleaning something up. I mean, I appreciate it. But I would also like you to go and check on some tables and welcome some people and make sure everyone's having a great time. Make sure everybody is spending as much money as possible as well, because, you know, that's a thing we need to do. Gotta get them dollar dollar bills. Uh, might also want to hire a professional. Oh, it's already scheduled. All right. Uh, Peyton, you can go and harvest all, actually. There is a fair bit of harvesting needing done. And it will make us some pretty good money. So if you can harvest everything, that would be just fantastic. Ignoring the fact that she's slightly smelly and in her sleeping wear, Ali seems to have struck up a conversation with some uh, customers, which is always nice. One of them's getting a bit sassy there. <laughs> it's kind of amazing. Uh, so Bobby is actually getting a bit sleepy at the moment, which is a bit of a shame, but we have made some pretty good money. So I think I'll close the restaurant and see what happens. Profit-wise, we kind of did all right. We do need to make sure that we get Bobby trained up a little bit. Because the dude definitely needs it. He is definitely, definitely lacking on that front. Uh, we are a four-star restaurant, though, which is nice. 
So what's Peyton up to? Peyton is actually done with harvesting, which is good news because we can go and sell all of these for 882 simoleons. We can then go and sell all of these for 3,000 simoleons. And Ali, do you have anything I can sell? Uh, no, but 5,488 simoleons is nothing to sniff at, so that's going to be nice for us to have. I do think I want to basically save up my simoleons for a bit so I can... I, I don't know if I want to expand Ali's or if I want to go ahead and maybe sell up Ali's Bistro and have Ali go ahead and buy out the Chief Beef Restaurant. It's really difficult to know. I just can't really decide. Uh, I think I'm, I'm going to leave that up to you. I kind of like that idea that we'll let you guys in the comments decide that one. Do we sell up Ali's Bistro and go buy out the only Chief Beef in the world and turn that into a franchise? Because the thing with the Chief Beef Restaurant, we can go and visit it in just a second. The thing with the Chief Beef Restaurant is I built that in a live stream. I'm actually really happy with how it looks. But the benefit is it was built with unlimited money. It costs like 85,000 simoleons to buy. But it was built with unlimited money. It's a really nice place. Uh, it is set up perfectly for a few uh, chefs, the waiters, all that stuff. It is set up to be used and used well. And there's lots of space for customers to sit that's going to be easy to get to. It really is a pretty good place, and I would be kind of interested in going ahead and uh, perhaps buying it. I'm I'm very very tempted to uh, to uh, to sort of put in an executive order and say that we are going to buy it. But I I think it's only fair. You know, you guys are invested in these Sims as much as I am. You know, we we've, we've been sharing this whole thing together. So I think it is only fair that you guys also get a say in this whole thing. I mean, I was saying last episode that there is this, there's the whole story here. We have Ali and Peyton doing whatever they do for the rest of their lives and all that stuff. And that is very true. But, uh, I, I, I also feel like the, you know, there is that interesting story to be told, but I also want to see if we can make them even richer. And sometimes, you know, selling up your own restaurant to buy out a, an up and coming franchise is a thing that you might want to do. It might, you know, you, you built the restaurant from scratch, but you made your money and now you're going to spend it on another restaurant. That's that's an option. It is an option that I am considering. Anyway, I would like to spend a little bit of money here getting a, uh, a nice desk into this space because uh, I kind of like the idea that we'd have a little study here. Even if it is just very basic, we can actually get this PC though. So we'll go and grab that. Uh, I'd like to get a nice chair on there as well. So we'll go for this one in white. And uh, I think we'll get some art in here as well. We could go for a, uh, a massage chair, but I think I'll pass. How much for an easel? 350 smallings. All right, we'll grab one of those. I'll get it in sort of a... I'm tempted to go with the blue one with the paint stains on it. I kind of like it. Let's throw that into the, uh, the corner just there. Looks quite nice, if I do say so myself. Uh, we could get a chess table in there. I think we'll pass on that, though. What else have we got? We have an easel. We have the woodworking table. Not really interested in that, to be honest. We do have a guitar. We could get a guitar. That is definitely a thing. I don't really know if I want to get them interested in music, though. I don't really think there's all that much point at the moment. Uh, we could do anything here really but I mean, what's this that's a yoga mat i think yoga might actually be a really good thing for these guys to do or at least one of them i think ali could probably tick up yoga so we'll get a yoga mat there in purple so it matches the wall which i think looks really nice let's look at a bit of art then and see what we have so maybe a nice big inspirational piece of art like that maybe maybe not that one maybe that could be the inspirational piece of art yeah that seems about right. That'd be inspirational for me. Get this yoga done with, and you can go have some bacon and pancakes. Oh yeah, that would get me. That would get me doing yoga. All right, I like this. I think this room will be really, uh, really good for them. I'm also gonna do auto lights for all of them, 
because we have lights on across the house that we just are not using. So that's really, really going to knock that electricity bill up a little bit. I do think I'd kind of like to get a, uh, a rug in there as well, though. I think a rug could be could be real nice. Maybe not that one. But, uh, I mean, that one kind of works. I think I'll just go for this. We have this same one in the living room, but it's quite a nice rug. It does what it does, and I'd kind of like it to be in... I'm going to go for that blue color there. So that's quite nice. That'll do the job. Nice, big, open study. We probably want to get... Uh, now that I think about it, I'm going to clone this bookcase and put it there. Because that seems like a pretty good spot for it. And then maybe change the color as well. So we'll go for... We could go for purple, actually. But I think I'll go for sort of just uh, that wood color. Yeah, I like it. That's that's quite a nice study. So what is Peyton up to? Peyton is just standing there. Allie's actually awake. No, Peyton does need to have a bit of fun, so she's watching TV. Allie, on the other hand, is actually doing all right. So she's going to go and have some food, which is fine by me. I'm going to throw that into the fridge there because I really would appreciate it if it doesn't go off. And that's the Lord of the Swings. That's a great name. That is, that is a brilliant name for a book. All right, Ali, I would like you to take up some yoga. Let's see, practice, practice yoga. Because I feel like that's something that you might be, uh, you might enjoy. So there you go. You've acquired the wellness skill. So that will allow her to perform various yoga poses, meditate and give a massage. More yoga poses, massages, recipes, and socials are unlocked at higher levels. Okay. I mean, that seems okay. What does this do then? So this is actually getting her fun up a little bit. Which I'm okay with, actually. I'm completely fine with this knocking her uh, her fun up a little bit. I'm also going to... Um, why does that door open? Why are the... What the hell? I've never seen that happen before. I don't feel like that's supposed to happen. Oh, that's weird. So, like I said, we're going to visit Chief Beefs, and this is what the place looks like. Like I said, there is a lot of room for people to sit over here, and in here, and here, and here. And it is a nice place. Now, at the moment, anyone can go into the back of the restaurant, because I can't lock this door for, well, anyone, because I don't own the place. But if I own it, I can lock this door for everyone but employees. So this entire back space can't be reached by regular people. And I kind of like that idea. I mean, it is a nice restaurant. It is a it is a really nice place. I should also mention, we have all that space inside to sit. We also have this space out back for people to sit. So it is... It is a pretty good restaurant. It is just a bit expensive, is the thing. If I wanted to buy this, I mean, if we go, say, buy a restaurant, we, uh, for some reason, it's not going to actually do anything there. Ah, here we go. All right, so buy a restaurant. If I go to Newcrest and I say I want to buy Chief Beef, it would cost me 80,151 simoleons, which is a lot, funnily enough. Uh, if I wanted to sell Ellie's Bistro, which is a thing I could do, but I need to be on the lot to do that. But if I wanted to sell Ellie's Bistro, I'm actually curious to see how much I would get for it. Uh, not that I necessarily you know, want to sell Ellie's Bistro at the moment, but I might eventually. It's definitely a thing that could be... Definitely a thing that could be done at some point. I, do, I don't know. I'm just in this weird spot where I feel like Ellie is doing a good job with this Bistro, but we might want to look into giving it to someone else to do a good job with. We'll see. So, selling the Bistro is actually here. If we click sell the business, we will get 37,000 from the sale. So, we would need... Effectively, we need 42,000 simoleons if we want to uh, go ahead and buy the Chief Beef restaurant. So that's a while off in the future, but it is always a possibility. It is definitely a thing that can be done. Now, Ali, go sleep there. You don't need to sleep in the front of the restaurant. There is a bed in the back that is specifically for this purpose because you are a very tired sim, Ali. We all know it. So that way you can have a bit of a snooze and the restaurant can function whilst you're there. I'm also going to bring Peyton to the restaurant because while you're sleeping, Peyton can actually run the place. Might also be worth getting someone to uh, hire a professional gardener because that garden is looking pretty rough out there. 
So, uh, hire a gardener. Let's go ahead and start talking to the guests. So, management and check on table. Is that who I think it is? Chandler. It's good old Chandler. I remember him. He used to work for us. Then he stormed out one day and never came back. I mean, I can't say I blame him. I'm pretty sure he stormed out after a 15-hour uh, shift. So, uh, I mean, it's to be expected. Definitely to be expected, but still interesting seeing him here. I think him and Ali don't really get on, do they? I don't know. Maybe they do. Anyway, Peyton, what are you up to? You are going out to talk to some guests. Which is fair enough. Is a sink broke? Oh, for God's sake. Uh, Peyton, can you can you go fix that, please? Because someone needs to. So it's probably going to have to be you. So we're minus 73. Ooh, 498. Not bad. That's a good start to the day. Now just get this fixed, please. Because it really, really needs it. And then we need someone to mop up the floor, which is probably going to be you as well. Because uh, apparently we're the only people that can do work around here. So let's check on you. You are just having the best time. You are just sta you're just having a great time just standing about looking around you. Oh, no, you're having a seat. All right. Let's uh, not comp them anything. Let's check on your table. Let's uh, not go there. Let's uh, welcome you. No, check on your table. That's fine. I just want to make sure everyone's spending money. And I want to make sure we're actually doing okay here because we really need to... Uh, we really need to push the boat out here. Really need to make a, a shed load of cash. So 597, 1092 already after six hours. That's not the best we've done. That's definitely not, not the best we've done, but we're getting there. Things are shaping up. Now there's Bobby heading upstairs with a plate of food. Hopefully he doesn't drop it, but knowing Bobby, he might. He didn't. Oh, 1697. The Goths certainly know how to spend their money. Let's go check on their table and make sure everything is all right. Oh, there we go. There's more money coming in. Beautiful. And even more money coming in. All right, that's perfect. Ali, are you still asleep? Seriously. You kind of need the bathroom. Might want to get up and uh, go use that. Go on. Go go use the bathroom and then maybe also change your outfit to one that is suitable for the, uh, you know, the old restaurant there. So go for the luxury one or the, uh, the fancy formal one. If you wouldn't mind. Come on. Come on. There you go. All right. Beautiful. And then maybe mop the floor as well. Because someone's got to and it's going to be the owner. Obviously. Because that's how restaurants work. The owner wakes up from the their nap in the back room and then... Is that... That's Rafael Melendez. The host that didn't turn up several times eventually got fired for it and was replaced by someone that can actually do the job. Let's, uh... Let's welcome him to the restaurant. How's it going, Raphael? All right, mate. You settled down. No one liked you anyway. What about you? How are you doing? I mean, Douglas, you are... It's probably worth training you some more, isn't it? Just to make you that bit better. Because the restaurant is running a lot quicker now that we have all these tables down here. So getting Douglas some more training might be for the best. Uh, looking at the time we've been open and the amount of money we have... I actually think we might still make a profit today. It's not going to be the highest profit we've had, but it's definitely, definitely going to be some kind of profit. Let's go and welcome you and check on your table just to make sure everyone's having a good time. See if we can knock ourselves up to maybe four and a half stars, though I don't think that's going to be happening. Oh, minus 107. Hopefully that's going to be an expensive dish getting paid for there. Let's start disallowing new customers. Because we really don't need to allow everyone in at the moment. So let's see. Minus 68. So we've had three orders go out there. So you've just... Oh, 829. My God. Apparently the uh, the Bjorgsons know how to... That's not the Bjorgsons. That's a land grab. Oh. All right. Well, I thought it was a Bjorgson. Oh, yeah. He was the budget Bjorgson, wasn't he? That's, a, that's Jeffrey Landgrab. The wannabe Bjorgson. That's... Uh, it all makes sense now. All makes sense. Oh, you're at five stars. Beautiful. All right, now Ali's feeling a bit sad. Is she talking to plants again? Yes, she is. 
Despite the fact that she owns a restaurant and could talk to quite a few people around here, she is talking to plants. Allie is a peculiar one. She is definitely a peculiar one. Now, Etta Burdick is getting a bit tired. The thing is, I really would like to um, get these last couple of dishes served. But um, maybe it would be worth just closing up. A couple of people getting tired there. Let's close the restaurant. We did make some money, which is good. That is some very good news. Now, you had a meal that you were going to gonna serve to someone, but never got around to doing, so that's fine. That was a bit of a waste of money. But other than that, I would say, I mean, we've sort of gone through the hard times and more or less come out the other side at this point. Uh, I would like to harvest all in the garden there. And then once that's done, sell it, head home, go to sleep, and then wrap up for today. Well, we're home, and we had a bit of money. That was before I bought the two paintings you can see in the wall there, and more bookshelves. Not that we needed them, I just thought I kind of liked the idea of- Are you- Yeah, you are a bit stinky. Uh, I like the idea of having some bookshelves along this back wall there. Ali is currently watching something to do with- Oh, it's a Titanic thing. Sort of. Uh, is this dude actually gonna manage to paint her properly? That's the real question here. Let's have a look. Oh, that quality. That quality, though. Oh, my. Well, that's embarrassing. Oh, hello. Why did you get here? What is that? Do you stink, too? They both stink. I guess they stink together, which is cute in a way. It's not, but we'll go with it. Uh, anyway, ladies and gents, I'm going to leave it there. So I will pose my question to you once again. Shall we work towards getting that, you know, 40 to 45,000 simoleons that we're going to need to allow us to sell Ali's Bistro and buy the Chief Beef Restaurant? Because it is an option. It is definitely something we could do. It would give us a restaurant that is slightly more equipped than Ali's. It would mean that we'd be working towards... Not necessarily a franchise made up of Ali's bistros, but it would be a franchise of Chief Beefs, a proper little fast food franchise there as well, which would be very interesting indeed. So it's something to look into. It is something to consider. And something that I think would be kind of cool, honestly. I think it would be kind of fun to have Ali go from this woman living, living on the streets to someone that built her own restaurant to the point that she could sell it for 40,000 simoleons, also built this beautiful home, and then bought out the first and original chief beef restaurant, and then took over the world. I feel like that could be pretty cool. I feel like that'd be a fun story to tell someday. Anyway, let's uh, wrap things up by selling all of those and then hiring a professional gardener because we're going to want to do that because I cannot be bothered doing this myself. Though I do obviously need to uh, go ahead and perhaps evolve all of these myself at some point. But I'm not going to do that today because today, well, that's going to be it for today. So thank you kind of for watching. This has been the Sims 4 Dine Out Rags to Riches Challenge Part whatever. I've lost count. And I'll see you next time. Bye-bye.